you have exactly one opportunity to achieve perfection. And we're giving you just enough time. Four minutes. Oh, God. While omelets seem very easy, they're actually really technical. And to only have four minutes, I can't even change my daughter's diaper in four minutes. The home cooks who make the best four omelets will head straight to safety in the gallery. The other four will head straight to an even tougher task. Please head to your stations. Oh, I'm gonna have to pull something out real fierce to get through to the next round because, quite frankly, I hate omelets. Everyone here is here to compete. I'm not gonna be able to let up or else I'm going home. It's as simple as that. Are you ready to cook your way to safety? Yes, yes sir. sir! Well, get cracking because your time starts now! When you're testing a new chef, often the first thing you get them to make is guess what? The omelet. This is a game of nerves because one slip and you're out. I need to crack my four eggs and there can't be any egg whites. It has to be really uniform and bright yellow. There's only two ingredients when it comes to an omelet, butter and eggs, and a lot of technique goes into it. Nothing can hide behind the flavor of a great cooked omelet. The omelets I make at home usually have veggies and meat and cheese, and they're huge and they're fat. But I've never cooked eggs like this before. The eggs need to be not only seasoned, but the salt actually helps break down the egg so you can whisk it so it's nice and smooth. All you can hear is whisking, butter melting, and people just working hard. I have it on high heat, I throw the eggs in, and I know as soon as I do, I better start stirring. One of the mistakes that can happen here is that the heat in the pan is too high. If it's too high, it will scorch and actually start to caramelize those delicate eggs. Come on, sweethearts, cook. If you work it too much with a fork or spatula, you'll end up with a scrambled egg. Undercook it, and it will be non-edible. Come on, babies. Cook, you things. Four minutes feel like it's only 10 seconds. It's going by really quickly. Let's go, eggs. Cook eggs, cook. I got the first fold done, no cracks. The hardest part is getting it out the pan, like over the lip into the plate. Wow, Becky was the first out of the pan. One minute, you have one more minute left. I'm trying to gently fold the egg, but I can barely do it because my hand is shaking so much. Then the egg started sticking. I had the pan too hot. It's a complete disaster. Time's ticking. I need to carefully remove it from the pan and just plate it. Don't like how it's not smooth on the outside, but it's got the perfect cook on it. 30 seconds! My eggs aren't even fully cooked, but I need to start folding them. Hands are shaking. Please bring your French-style omelets to the front. The top eight finish the first round of a battle for survival, and the judges will now decide who has made the best omelet. Michael G. Chef. A fast and furious four minutes. How do you think you did? <laughs> uh, I think I did very well. The outside looks a little bit on the rugged side, not as smooth as I would expect. A nice tapered end on one side, a little misshapen on the other. Though. Good color shows that the pan was not too hot. Is it going to be perfectly custody moist on the inside? I believe so. Let's take a look. It's not too bad. It looks a little soft and tender. And very creamy on the inside, but maybe just a tad over a few seconds. Keep practicing. Becky. Are you pleased with your omelet? Yeah, there's no cracks or anything in it. What happened here? Where? See some of the whites here? You didn't whip your eggs properly. Mm hmm This should look very uniform. The edges here should be sealed. Why didn't you take advantage of that last minute? I just wasn't really watching the clock. I was just getting it done. OK, well, let's see. So is this going to be runny? It's not going to be runny. Want to bet? Not really. <laughs> You 
should have wagered because you would have won. <laughs> <laughs> This proves to me why you're here. It's almost textbook. A few little issues, but it shows a lot of promise. I'm learning a lot from Chef Claudio. Just the tiniest little tips are really helpful. Nadia, tell me why you're looking so worried. This is not what I would ever serve to you. I don't think that my pan was hot enough, and I didn't want to have it too high so that there was brown on top of it. Let's take a look inside. Nice and tender on the inside, so we're down to the taste. Taste and texture says it's top eight, but looks, absolutely not. Thank you, Chef. Hi, Chef Claudia. Are you not happy with this? Because you seem like you're almost disappointed with yourself. I just know I've done it so many times and it's been smooth on the outside and that's really upsetting me. I can see what happened here. Your pan in one little spot did not have enough butter in it. It's dry. But overall, the shape is great. The way it just contours out, tapers in. It's a very even color. I gotta remind myself, you're a home cook and you achieve this. To me, it looks like a professional did it. Thank you, Chef. Extraordinary. If you made someone breakfast in bed and you served them this, man, it's all over. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. <laughs> Being told that it's almost perfect is incredible. I'm extremely humbled by Chef Claudia's comments. Marissa. Yes, Chef. Have you ever made an omelet? This is my very first French omelet. The time did get the best of me, and this is the result of that. It's uh, embarrassing to present this to you today. I see a lot of problems here. You definitely don't have the shape. It's broken here. Mm -hmm. It's leaking here. It's got some discoloration here. It is an ugly duckling. <laughs> Agreed. Which side do you want me to cut? The side that isn't pouring out. Season well, got all the texture, you got the moisture. Unfortunately, we have half an omelet. If this were an elimination challenge, I'd be packing my bags. Andy. Chef Michael. You used a different technique to add a little extra shape to your omelet. Throw your kitchen towel over the top. It is a chef's trick. Where did you learn that? Uh, my wife's favorite food is eggs and omelets. She usually gives me six minutes, but it's just something I've read and seen done. Didn't quite work for you. Not quite perfect. Maybe no. you need those two extra minutes. <laughs> it's all about the inside. Not as soft and tender as I would like. Seasoning, excellent. Good. Probably the best one yet. Thank you, Chef. But a little rough around the edges. Just maybe a couple of seconds too long in the pan. I think I did enough to get through this round. It keeps on coming down to seasoning, but I think I did just that. Four minutes, two ingredients, nowhere to hide. One home cook delivered a nearly flawless omelet. Congratulations, Eugene. Thank you, Chef. Becky, your omelet wasn't quite as attractive, but its velvety interior tasted just as good. Congratulations. Good job, Becky. Good job, Becky. Good job, Becky. Please head on up to the gallery. Thank you, Chef.